Hello, my name is Luisa Iruela Rispe. I am at Northwestern University at the Famer School of Medicine. And it is a pleasure to be here today to tell you a little bit about our research in the context of Vascular Discovery 2020, ATVB, and our first virtual meeting. I have to say, it's really thrilling to present our research and, and is a new topic for us. For a very long time, we've been working on angiogenesis, uh, but this is a little bit of a departure of uh, understanding uh, expansion in blood vessels. Our focus has been uh, on trying to understand endothelial regeneration, and in particular, uh, in relation to aspects that relate to vascular resilience. And so normally um, we are focusing on what causes disease. What is it that leads to atherosclerosis? What is it that leads to uh, cardiovascular um, coronary occlusion, thrombosis, what have you? We started to think about it in a different way. We started to consider that perhaps what we need to think about is what are the genes, the signatures and mechanisms that prevent uh, the development of disease. So we all hear about situations in which two identical uh, twins have had exposures that now make them one acquire disease and one not, but yet their genetics are absolutely identical. So what is it that makes one more resilient and more resistant to develop disease and, one do and the other one doesn't? And so the question that we're trying to, in the long term, um, understand is molecularly how our genes are capable to cope with the stressors in a way that allow us to overcome those stressors. So we're paying attention more to who doesn't get disease to try to understand how to help those who do acquire disease to overcome that disease. And that type of research includes not only understanding uh, differences in coping to stressors, but also trying to understand uh, aging and vascular aging. What makes our vascular system age better? And what makes our vascular system recover after an injury? And so the peak uh, of the presentation, the, the, the little window uh, in that continuum is going to be addressing specifically how um, individuals, uh, mice, our preclinical animal model, can cope with a regeneration status of, um, in the aorta. So what are the genes specifically that enable animals of young age to regenerate and not able to regenerate at an older age? So in the long term, the way that we see our research benefiting patients is that we will be able to obtain signatures that will tell us whether or not a particular patient might be able to cope better with inflammatory diseases or um, hypercholesterolemia states or hyperglycemia states. And so by obtaining those signatures and being able to predict, we might be able to actually help them cope with this, those particular stressors. In the long term, we also would like to obtain signatures that are able to allow us to, to, to cope better with aging and keep our vascular system young and um, being able to uh, develop uh, resilience and uh, suppress or ameliorate our responses to stressors. So that is what we uh, are presenting and it is really a pleasure to be able to participate and partake in this uh, wonderful event. And um, I'm looking forward to attending to all the sessions. Thank you very much.